Hey, Donna Lewis here with Breathe Life Ministries, and it is Transformed Tuesday. So while I get situated here, let me just bring up the screen with our slides. There we go. And let's see here, one more. You just there we go it always takes just a minute to get everything all situated and next thing i want to do oops let's just make sure that i can see everybody's comments there we go yeah i've got everything situated so now i can actually even see if you're doing comments and stuff, which makes me quite happy. So, here we are, Transform Tuesday. And we are in word number three, which is, it's a new day. And I just wanna take this moment to open in a quick word of prayer. And give me a shout out if y'all are viewing this and uh, participating with me because I want to make sure that uh, we're able to include your comments and your discussion. It is always really awesome when we have a group discussion because it it really influences in a positive direction um, the tone of the discussion and uh, the direction of the discussion so uh anyway without further ado i am going to just seek the holy spirit and uh, get some clarity of mind <laughs> heavenly father thank you so much for your holy spirit thank you for the promise of a new day in front of us god that the old is passed away and the new has come. I seek you now for your direction, for your leading, for your filling and your anointing. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the scripture that we're in is Jeremiah 29 11. And this is from the Amplified. I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil to give you a hope in your final outcome i think the two things that stand out to me when i look at this passage of scripture and this promise is hope in your final outcome to look at the road ahead of you. And even though you might be in a very painful place right now, there is hope for your final outcome. Let's keep going. Okay, our fun question for the day. I'm not sure how I'm going to answer this one. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? One thing for the rest of your life. You know, the only thing that keeps coming to my mind is mac and cheese. I think I could probably eat mac and cheese. <laughs> every day for the rest of my life. The only point that that would become a problem for me is breakfast because I really love breakfast food at breakfast time. I, I'm not one of those people, like my husband, he can make himself a chicken sandwich for breakfast. 
I can't do that. I have got to have toast with my coffee <laughs> or bacon and eggs or pancakes. I got to have breakfast for breakfast food. Um, <laughs> so how about you? If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> okay. Put that in the comments. That'll be some fun. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing your answers on that one. Okay, don't forget, we now have the Transformed Journal. The Transformed Journal. And what is really cool is that this, um, inner, the inner cover on this is gonna be individual for each one. So what we're talking about is that this particular cover is going to be different. You're going to get the little the little girl on the swing, but the color of this and the finish of this part right here will be different on each and every one. So it will be personalized. It will be individual for each one of you. Um, and if you are interested in getting your transformed journal, just contact me at Breathe Life Ministries and uh, the order form is available on the website uh, you can also reach out to me on facebook so okay now diving into word three so i'm going to open up transformed hey welcome it's good to have you give me a shout out so Diving in here, Toxic to Transformed. It's a new day. There is so much to look forward to. Truly, the best days are ahead of you as you immerse yourself in God's word. These precious words of life are infused with powerful, grace and truth the holy spirit smears them on like healing salve upon your mind soul and spirit his power transforms you into and listen to this carefully his power transforms you into a person of destiny, authority, and purpose. And here we are again at Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts and plans for welfare and peace welfare and peace and not for evil to give you hope in your final outcome let's take a minute just to process these key words Destiny, authority, purpose. You are a person of destiny. When you step into your relationship with Jesus Christ. And do you agree with him when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father, but through me. When you step into agreement with Christ Jesus, you become a new creation. All the old is washed away and you are now 
a person of destiny. You are a person of authority. You are a person of great purpose. What comes to your mind? Put this in your comments. What comes to your mind when you hear the word destiny? What comes to mind when you hear the word authority? And what comes to mind when you hear the word purpose? Those are all words associated with your name. I know for many years it was hard for me to think of my name, Donna. Donna, a person of destiny. Donna, a person of authority. Donna, a person of purpose. It was very difficult for me to see myself in that light, but it's the truth. And it's the truth for you. The word of God says that God, when he created you, he created you alongside or, or along with a destiny of purpose and authority before the foundations of the world. He saw you and created you with a beautiful destiny, a royal authority, and an eternal purpose in mind. And that is the truth. So I'm eager to hear your comments and I'm gonna just check here real quick and see if we've got anybody participating here. Oh. Okay, so no comments yet, and that's okay. If you're watching this on the recast, go ahead and share your comments and share your thoughts that come to mind as you are processing Jeremiah 29 11 and looking at your own life in view of destiny, authority, and purpose. Thank you for joining me here today and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow when we have our expert interview. We did pre-record and uh, that will be um, available tomorrow for you to see. It's a, it's a wonderful interview with children's author Brittany Crawford. So have a beautiful Tuesday. Thank you for joining me here, and I will see you next week. God bless. And let's see here. I've got to back out here, everybody. There we go. Love you all. God bless.